Welcome back to the Symbio video channel. The Symbio video channel is all about empowering the Symbio stakeholders, like the Symbio viewer who can only see and analyze release data. Beside the Symbio viewer, there are also other stakeholders like the author, the architect, the approver, the analyst, and the administrator. So let's have a look at the third video for the viewer. It's all about searching for data, filtering data, and defining favorites and subscriptions. So let's jump back into the system. As before, I'm logged on as a viewer. And on the top right, you see you can search for a particular process or risk role, etc. So for example, I can just here type in the word customer. And first of all, it gives me immediately processes with the word customer. So via those links here, I could jump into the process graph directly if I wish. Beside that, let's just click enter on the keyboard. I'm navigated to a search page with obviously lots of results. So the results are all in relation to the word customer. And the word customer, it could be part of a role, a risk or a process, etc. So let's just narrow down that search by filtering for data. For example, in the column type, you see I can just filter for the type role and now you see a reduced search result. And finally, I could just select this one role customer in this case and on the right you see related data to the role customer. You can go back to the original search by just removing the filter. Also, in order to get a more specific result, you see here on the top left, you can also work with or or end, for example, like customer or logistics. And you see now that I get a new search result with more data. And as before, I can just use the filtering here. I can also use it for the descript description column, like I could just use um, go for the word condition and you see I get then finally three results for that. So that's the search. Let's just stick to the uh, filtering and to the list. So regardless where you are in the Symbio database, let's just jump to the systems for example. When you go to a list view, I recommend you to filter for data. So in this case you see in the column state you can use a drop down and just go for release, for example. That means here as, as a end product, you see all released um, systems in the list. You can further narrow it down by just as before filtering here, for example, or searching for the word SAP, and then it gives you two results. Okay, and as before, when you select one, you see the detail content on the right updates automatically, and you see then data in relation to the system SAP in this case. Let's have a word about defining a favorite or subscribing for data. So you might have five or 10 favorite processes or roles or risks you would like to look at. If that's the case, I advise you to just define it as a favorite by clicking on this star here in the toolbar, okay? On the other hand, let's talk about subscriptions. Let's just jump to the documents, for example. You see, we have here the document payment term. And if you would like to get a information and a email, whenever there's a new version of this particular document, you just subscribe for it by clicking on the I, okay? And that can be done for any data object in Symbio. And as a end result, when you go here to the top right of the browser and click on the star, you see you have two tabs with your favorites and your subscriptions, okay? And sooner or later, this list will grow and grow and you just have a quick entry to all your favorites and subscriptions via the star. Alternatively, let's have a look at a start page, which could look here like this, my home start page. So your admin could set up a additional start page where you see also then here in those two widgets, your favorites and your subscriptions. Okay, 
let's go back to the overview page. So the last video for the viewer will be then about feedback and reporting. And the next series of videos will be about the Symbio author who creates and models processes. Thank you for having watched this video. Bye-bye.